Hello welcome to Objective Question Answer MCQ's YouTube channel. With a positive vibes let's start this video. Question number 1. Pahali bought some vegetables such as French beans, ladies finger, green chilies, brinjals and potatoes all mixed in a bag. Which of the following methods of separation would be most appropriate for her to separate them? Option A winnowing. Option B sieving. Option C threshing. Option D hand picking. The right answer is option D. Hand picking. Hand picking would be the best method to separate the vegetables all mixed in the bag. Question number 2. Buyho's grandmother is suffering from diabetes. Her doctor advised her to take lassi with less fat content. Which of the following methods would be most appropriate for Buyho to prepare it? Option A filtration. Option B decantation. Option C churning. Option D winnowing. The right answer is option C. Churning. Churning would be the best method to prepare lassi with low fat content as this method of separation removes all impurities. Question number 3. Which of the following mixtures would you be able to separate using the method of filtration? Option A oil in water. Option B cornflakes in milk. Option C salt in water. Option D sugar in milk. The right answer is option B. Cornflakes in milk. A mixture of cornflakes in milk can be easily separated by the method of filtration. The cornflakes will remain in the filtering element and milk can be collected in a separate container. Question number 4. Which amongst the following methods would be most appropriate to separate grains from bundles of stalks? Option A hand picking. Option B winnowing. Option C sieving. Option D threshing. The right answer is option D. Threshing. Threshing would be the best method to separate the grains from bundles of stalks. Question number 5. Four mixtures are given below one. Kidney beans and chickpeas. Two pulses and rice. Three rice flakes and corn. Four potato wafers and biscuits. Which of these can be separated by the method of winnowing? Option A1 and 2. Option B2 and 3. Option C1 and 3. Option D3 and 4. The right answer is option D. 3 and 4. Potato wafers and rice flakes being lighter can be easily blown away by wind and separated from the heavier corn and biscuits. Question number 6. While preparing chapatis, Pahali found that the flour to be used was mixed with wheat grains. 
Which out of the following is the most suitable method to separate the grains from the flour? Option A Threshing Option B Sieving Option C Winnowing Option D Filtration The right answer is Option B Sieving the best method to separate the flour from the wheat grains is sieving. Sieving allows the fine flour particles to pass through the holes of sieve whereas the large impurities remain in the sieve. Question number 7. You might have observed the preparation of ghee from butter and cream at home. Which method? S can be used to separate ghee from the residue. 1. Evaporation 2. Decantation 3. Filtration 4. Churning. Which of the following combination is the correct answer? Option A1 and 2. Option B2 and 3. Option C2 and 4. Option D 4 only. The right answer is option B. 2 and 3. Ghee can further be obtained from the residue by the method of filtration and decantation. Question number 8. In an activity, a teacher dissolved a small amount of solid copper sulfate in a tumbler half filled with water. Which method would you use to get back solid copper sulfate from the solution? Option A decantation. Option B evaporation. Option C sedimentation. Option D condensation. The right answer is option B. Evaporation. We will use the method of evaporation to get back solid copper sulfate from the solution. The water in the solution will get evaporated and we can easily derive the crystals of copper sulfate. Question number 9. During summer, Buyuho carries water in a transparent plastic bottle to his school. One day he left his bottle in the school. The bottle still had some water left in it. The following day, he observed some water droplets on the inner surface of the empty portion of the bottle. These droplets of water were formed due to Option A boiling and condensation. Option B evaporation and saturation. Option C evaporation and condensation. Option D condensation and saturation. The right answer is option C. Evaporation and condensation. The droplets of water were formed due to the evaporation and condensation of the water left behind in the bottle. Question number 10. Pahali asked for a glass of water from Buyuho. He gave her a glass of ice cold water. Pahali observed some water droplets on the outer surface of the glass and asked Buyuho how these droplets of water were formed. Which of the following should be Buyuho's answer? Option A. Evaporation of water from the glass. Option B. Water that seeped out from the glass. Option C. Evaporation of atmospheric water vapor. Option D. Condensation of atmospheric water vapor. 
The right answer is option D. Condensation of atmospheric water vapor The water droplets present in the glass of water was due to the condensation of atmospheric water vapor. The atmospheric water vapor when comes in contact with the cold glass of water it condenses and settles down as droplets of water on the surface of glass. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel Objective Question Answer MCQs. And always remember, never stops learning, because life never stops teaching.